Yo, it's Lamont. Welcome to the reality. I'm back today in the name of consistency, just trying to keep a, keep it going. So I open my phone, and uh, the fear porn is just full tilt boogie in the new section of my widgets. And, uh, you know, the first headline I see is literally, Iran vows to destroy Israel. Which is like World War Three, pew, 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 pew. like you know, fucking everyone prepare. That's like what the freaking article is making you feel like. And then you know, I do two seconds of further digging, and that's what the president said. If someone were to retaliate over, you know, them drone striking Israel, so like, really not. World War Three. It's just like the headlines want you to uh, believe that. That's for sure. They want you to be scared because it'll make them money. But you know, we are uh, in my own reality. I walked outside today. Thank God. And there's birds chirping and whatnot. So just trying to focus on my uh, my reality here and praying that all the madness comes to an end because you know people are losing their lives and that's not cool at all so all this just needs to stop and I'm praying that everyone's safe in both regions all around the world because you know uh, people close to me are over there right now and I'm like dude just want everyone to be safe as can be but uh, so focusing on our reality, you know, I try to put away my phone and, you know, just I keep showing up to the gym, keep doing it, which has been crazy. It's been like three months now and kind of the, uh, the bug has taken hold of going to the gym. Now it's just like I can't not, you know, for... At first, when I was going to the gym, you feel on top of the world, like, hell yeah, we're gonna tackle this, we're gonna get this done. You just feel super confident, you know, and you're super excited to go to the gym for the first couple weeks. And then, you know, one to two months into it, it starts to feel more of like a grind. Like you start to get those days where it's like, fuck, I don't wanna go today. <laughs> but you notice that if you just drag yourself over there and as much as you do not want to show up and you might be tired that day a third halfway into the workout you start to realize you're having a better workout than you've had possibly since you started working out so it's so weird like the more you don't want to do it almost the better your workouts are for me at least so that's interesting and I just keep showing up the past two days I did not want to go whatsoever so yeah, I'm now like three, probably closer to four months of going to the gym and, you know, I've been kind of, I've been very consistent, so that's all I'm really trying to do. I'm not trying to break no personal records or do anything, I'm just trying to make sure that I show up even on the days that I don't want to, and that was the last two days for sure, but, <clears throat> you know, yesterday I took it a little bit easier. And today I kind of went into my full workout, so that was nice. It's been almost life-changing, staying consistent with it. Because, yeah, now, like I said, it's like I've caught the bug. So now, even on the days where it's like really like, man, I should just focus on the house today and do school and all this stuff, I just, I have to go, like, to the gym. It's so weird. Part of me, it's like, you know, it's a healthy thing, obviously, getting to the gym, staying disciplined. But... You know, there's another part of me that doesn't know how to relax whatsoever. Like, I, I feel like a loser if I don't go to the gym. And I don't think that's necessarily the right way to feel. But, you know, it's good. It's a good thing to feel anyway, because it keeps me going. So, I'm, you know, just getting off of that. And the uh, new herbs are doing fantastic. I just harvested some cilantro yesterday and a little bit of oregano 
And what I'm trying to do is I, I kind of want to make my own fresh seasonings because, you know, seasonings are real expensive at the freaking grocery store. It's like if you want good organic seasonings, it's like six, seven bucks for a freaking bottle of oregano or whatever. So, you know, I'm getting these going and I'm, I'm trying to dry these herbs out so that I can grind them up and make seasonings and whatever. So, uh... I'm already kind of on that a little bit. I, I harvested a lot of cilantro. I watched some videos on how to harvest it so it will continue to grow. So I spent 30 minutes doing that. And uh, I bundled them all together and I hung them on my kitchen ceiling. So just overnight, they've lost 50% of their volume, you know, just because they dried out with all their water and whatnot. And so yeah, they're already almost dry and crispy. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to decide if I want to do it the drying of my herbs on the inside or the outside like aka in my kitchen or on the balcony because if I put them on the balcony I think it's going to be a much better environment for the herbs to dry out on because you know I live in Vegas so it's just very hot and dry outside so if I put them out there they'll probably be fully crispy dry in like three days um, my only concern is really just the dirt outside i don't want it to be like a super windy dusty day and then that just get all over the herbs and then when i want to you know grind it up i can't like re-wet them i don't think obviously so to wash them i already washed them so i i don't know i don't know what to do about that so i leave them on there they might get dirty and dusty if i leave them in the kitchen i'm kind of worried about them getting just the indoor dusts on them you know I'd rather have outside dirt than inside dirt you know because inside dirt's like dead skin cells and cat hair and shit like that outside dirt's just dirt so like whatever so you know those are the pros you know those are the difference between those two I guess but so I don't know I'm also kind of worried when I cook like the uh freaking smell from like the grease from my beef or whatever I'm cooking might kind of latch onto them I don't know. These are all just things I'm floating around in my head. So maybe I don't do it in the kitchen, but I have like a separate area of the house that I dedicate it to so it doesn't have to worry about that. Honestly, that's probably the move. It just looks good in the kitchen. It looks like it's supposed to be there. So, I don't know. That's been fun. I uh, cut back my cilantro, yeah, at least halfway size. Now it's half the size of what it was. So, uh, that's been good. They're really thriving, though. And, uh... The grow light seems to really do well. Um, it's still perfect temp outside for those herbs, so I'm gonna leave them outside for the time being. But once it gets a little bit hotter, I'll bring them in. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's been it's been cool. I'm just trying to really work on the house right now. You know, it's very severely under furnished. Like my living room is basically empty. My kitchen's very well put together because that's where I spend like 90% of my time. So that's pretty well put together. My bed is just on the fucking floor right now. So I'm really just trying to work on getting my house together and keeping these plants alive and just uh, keep on rolling in the dream, you know? Really uh, excited with how everything's going though. So I'm stoked. And in the name of being consistent, that's all I gotta say for now, but I'll, uh, I'm sure I'll be back. Excuse me. Always get gassy after the gym. Alright, peace.